Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So today for our tutorial, we have a simple watercolor landscape, perfect for any beginners. I'm going over all the simple watercolor techniques, uh, wet and wet, wet on dry, washing in color, and how simple this, you can draw this yourself. It's just a simple road. It's just the techniques that I would use to create something if you're just starting out in watercolor and you want a beginner landscape that's really quick and easy and fun because sometimes um, the bigger landscapes are really daunting and this is a nice size like a five by seven size landscape that really any skill level can do i show you how i quickly wash in the sky etc if you have any questions leave them in the comment section if you're a patreon member you get additional extra tutorial uh so click the link in the description box if you'd like to join patreon uh it's where people could support my channel here on youtube which i really appreciate but like i said this is such an easy tutorial super fun quick fast perfect for beginners if you're just starting watercolor journey and you just didn't want to do something that's really daunting and really difficult this is the tutorial for you so without further ado let's get started all right so i'm using my fabriani mini mini block it's like a five by seven 100 percent cotton cold press block which i love it's kind of great to fl play with and experiment with and i've just kind of drawn out some simple like country roads kind of going to just kind of like a road here going this way and maybe add like a little fence. Obviously as it gets further away, it just gets smaller and then put your, you know, perspective way out in the horizon, kind of out here. And then we'll add some mountains, just kind of simple landscape. I'm going to pick up my number 12 Neptune series brush. I'm going to loosen up some ultramarine blue deep here and I'll mix it with some bright rose. We'll some purple, I want some purple skies happening too and blues and we're gonna do wet on wet on dry here so i'm just gonna take the blue it's gonna be nice and bright i'm gonna go like this sweeping leaving some white there i'm gonna start to add the pink with the blue get that purple color kind of like in here grab some water i'm holding it like this way so if it even though it's wet on dry. So you're just going to leave some spots that are white there. Go up a little bit to the top. Go back with my blue. I'm going to add some uh, burnt sienna with my blue. It's going to make it a little gray. Just to give it a little more depth up here and get some more blue up here. A little deeper. Not too deep though. And then I'm just going to go grab some water more blue purple down here i'm just gonna lift put up my brush and lift a little kind of move some paint down here i don't want to touch any of the mountains i want to give it kind of white and just move it like that and it's good enough sky for now just leave it let it sit don't don't fast with skies too much um i really say that all the time you kind of want to just go real quick and fast i'm just going to add a little more deeper color here a little bit here, a little more blue. We'll try a little bit lighter. Little spot lines like this. Okay, we're done with that. <laughs> uh, we'll use, I can still use this purple, but I'm going to mix Ultramarine Blue with Burnt Sienna and make like a nice bluish, gray, mountainish. If you want to add some more pink, make it more purple. Um, blue whatever and we're gonna put that little mountain in here I'm gonna water this down I don't want it too dark and put a little mountain in here whatever whatever way you want to make your mountain more pointy a bunch of them the little ones make them kind of funky make them a little bit taller here simple don't make your life complicated with these little mountains just going across. Voila. Right? And we're kind of done with all our purple kind of blue tones. And now we're going to play with the country road and lots of greens. And we can add some like poppies in here or purple flowers again. So for the green, I'll just mix up some loose and loosen up some cabin yellow deep. Woo! <laughs> Um, you can have Prussian blue, peacock blue, Prussian blue here. 
this bright light green. To make a deeper green, I'll grab the Prussian blue and burnt umber, mix those two together, and the yellow, and get a much deeper, darker blue, I mean green. As you can see there, I cleaned up my brush a little bit. Keep this pretty simple. Don't make yourself crazy. Again, oh, got some red in there, so it's gonna make it more of an olivey green. We don't want that. Yeah, it's happening. It's happening! <laughs> Might have to go back up and mix this color again. There we go. Okay, bright color green. Let's get some of that bright chartreuse kind of color in here. I'm gonna add more yellow. I don't want it that medium green. It should be bright yellow. Go right over here. I'm gonna water it down a bit. Just get in there. And going right over where the fence is. This whole background area here. All right? Beginnings of our country road. Um, gonna go in here. Loosely, I don't have to stick all of the paint in everywhere. I just kind of loosely stick this in like this. So some of it's dry brushed kind of out like this in the bottom. That's good enough. I don't have to go everywhere, right? Um, I'm gonna let some of this dry. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna get the country road, maybe put some green kind of in the middle, playing around with that. Adding some burnt sienna, some browns, a little bit of that happening. Play around with that. So at this point, I really just want to let most of it dry. If I start to play with the road too much, I'm keeping my dark green because I haven't used that yet. Uh, just a light color. Now the burnt sienna is like really orangey. Maybe you want to tone it down. I can put some burnt umber in there. Maybe even some, uh, a little bit of ultramarine blue. We'll tone it down a little bit. We'll get more of the gray. You can even add more yellow back in there. I don't want it so orangey. See how the difference of this kind of like orange? Now that I mix all those colors. It's like a nice light tan. Just gonna loosely stick it on here. Don't put this super wet. Get a little bit lighter. Adding more water to the end of this. It's country road. You can add some deeper values. Here I am, uh, kind of paints gray with my brown. It's burnt umber and paints gray. You get a deeper brown. Play around with some deeper colors kind of coming towards us this way. Keep it simple though. All right, this is still very, very wet in here. So we don't wanna play around too much. I'm gonna switch up to a smaller brush. I have a number 10 round Velvet Touch series. And here I'm gonna grab some greens. This is a medium green. I mixed the yellow with the Prussian blue. Now you see more of a medium green. You can start to play with putting in some greens here. Just wiggling variations. It's still very damp in some parts. See how it's kind of bleeding a little bit? So I might have to wait till it's a little bit less wet. I'm going in here and just kind of filling in, adding some deep greens. Now there's a little cauliflower action happening here. That's because it's wet on wet, and I'm not minding it too much because I'm going to add more color in here anyway, like lots of grasses. So I'm just kind of playing with taking my brush and moving it up like this a little bit. I think at this point, though, I do want to let it dry. Um, I don't want to get too wet. Going back and add a little bit more yellow in here. Going over that brown area. Some dry brushing happening here. All right, I don't want it to get too crazy, so I'm wanting to dry and we'll come back to it. Now that it's dry, I go back in with my browns, a little deeper browns here. Put a little deeper, a little bit, just kind of dry brushing some of this color in here. All right, we're gonna get some dark greens in the center there too. Just kind of putting this color dry brush again. Some greens, kind of playing around with that. Gonna put our brush, you can use a smaller brush. Right now I'm just gonna kind of go like this, putting up some grass. 
Um, if you get some dark, dark, here's some burnt umber and some pants gray, so it's almost like black brown. We're gonna splatter, or if you have like a toothbrush, I didn't really, I don't have one on me right now, but if you have a toothbrush and you kind of flick a little bit of, you know, some, some right here on the road, just wanna flick it. Maybe you could do the brush too. Little flicks. It's gonna add texture to that road. Just little flicky flicks. So you can see little flicks up close. A toothbrush works better than with my finger getting wet with a brush. Um, you can splatter it a little bit. That would work too. But I feel like the toothbrush looks a little better. Um, just a preference, you know, and then add a little bit of this lighter brown in here, kind of going up the road. Maybe some of the burnt sienna color, really kind of loose, so it adds a little different dimension. Play around with this. Uh, I'll get a little deeper with some of my greens. Up in here, I'll put some little grasses. What wrong with the fence could be? And I'm using the 10 brush, but I'm going to switch into um, a liner brush. Also, back here, add some more depth with some just some dry brushes, some greenery kind of happening back here, maybe some trees. So I'm just kind of wiggling my brush. Some trees could be back here. In the distance and here it's a deep green you don't want to go too crazy I'm gonna add some more texture here dry brush as you can see put some up in here too so don't make it crazy back here you just want to keep it simple with the trees and some of the dark greens this is a Princeton Umbria brush, number four liner brush. It's great for grass. So you can make like this great skinny bunch it. Don't want to just like soldier grass, like one, two, three, four. You want it to go like this way and that way and move it. See? So browns and greens, all that good stuff. Um, many different colors. Now here, obviously in the background, it would be a little bit smaller, but you can have some big ones happening back here too. And of course, the little grass in between the road, like that. Now I'm gonna use this grass everywhere, but we do wanna keep it kind of like right in here. We're gonna add some flowers too. But a line brush makes the perfect skinny grass. It just does. So do it in like clusters and bunches. See how I'm gonna like doing some bunches here. And then here. You don't want it to be like the soldier grass. <laughs> and I'm adding some like light greens and dark a bit more yellows here now. Yellow greens and maybe some browns. Play around with the different color tones. So it's just not this one type of one note grass that was sticking in here. And you're moving around and grabbing the dark greens, having come over the, the road a little bit, twist it this way and that way. So it looks very interesting. Here is just kind of like, we need to add some more color in here. So I'll take my brush and I'll kind of do some dry brushing. Simple, pushing your brush down, moving it. Use the texture of the paper. It seems to be a little bit darker. It was just kind of just sitting there. And then we're just gonna put in some flowers. It can be red, purple, blue, pink, yellow, whatever. Um, I can take my yellow right out of the tube, kind of tap it in here. So it could be like a little yellow flower field. It could be multicolored. It can add some red or purple, blue. But yellow works great right out of the tube, by the way. A little smaller as you get back here. 
Just love a little yellow field. Looks so pretty. And of course, much bigger as you get closer. Put some more push down on this brush, a little bit bigger, fatter. You know, you could put little black dots in the middle. They could be like black eyed Susans or something, or just whatever kind of yellow yarrow or something like that. Kind of really pretty. And if you wanted to put in uh, white gouache, white daisies, it's pretty much up to you. It's really kind of pretty. And then we'll just add the little fence. So I'll grab a small brush, this is number four round. Um, I'm going to use Ultramarine Blue and Burnt Sienna to make a nice a deep gray. I don't want to use black because it looks kind of fake. We get a nice gray color here, and we'll just kind of go in here and put our fence in. Oops. So you don't want too black. It looks a little too black, but it'll be all right. And put the lines down. And then, of course, the little metal part connecting them. And it gets smaller as you go away. Put another one like that. And then, of course, underneath it, maybe make the grass a little bit deeper. Just kind of fill that in, put some grass in here around it. You can just even dry brush that. You have a really cute, sweet little simple print, I mean, print, excuse me, painting <laughs> um, for anybody that you'd like to have. I might put a little shadow kind of on my mountain. I'm grabbing the pink and the blue, watering it down, and I feel like maybe I put some shadows in here. You know, on this side too. It's up to you. I make this one a little bit deeper. It just gets a little more dimension, don't you think? Isn't that sweet? So you can make the yellow flowers, you can go in and add some pretty red flowers. I'm doing here. Even purple flowers. Um, yeah, purple flowers. So simple. Take that bright rose, ultramarine blue, get a nice purple, pinky color. Put that in there too. It will come out with come up fuchsia. There is a color that I have called lilac, which I've seen in many of my tutorials that will show up and it's almost like gouache and it's watercolor so you're not cheating <laughs> and you can mix it with those colors and you'll have a lovely light pretty purple the a little more blue make it more of a blue periwinkle and put that in oh how pretty is that I also have birdie blue which isn't beautiful you know put those little colors in there and it looks very impressionistic get up here get a more blue oh yes ultramarine blue mix it in there really kind of pretty and that's our country road with a little bit of flowers if you have any questions leave in the comment section but you see how simple that was I really it's like 10 minutes to make a really sweet kind of pretty landscape and yeah stick around if you're a patreon member for the second one but really, you guys can do this. I know you can. You can draw a simple curve for the road, put the colors in, wash in the green, put the little fence, make a simple little mountain, and just don't have your sky touched down here. You could have it. You could have more of a yellow kind of happening, so it's like a sunset. Um, play around with that. All right, take care. Have a fantastic day, and I'll speak to you soon.